here we are back with another playthrough of Civilization 6. I'm going to be playing as Vietnam, and I'm sort of doing an apocalyptic, it's like post zombie apocalypse. So it's like Civilization is trying to restart. We got the tech shuffle, we don't, we're trying to go back to the way things were. We're getting our text and civics back, but we're not really sure how to get there. And apocalypse mode, just to make it even more apocalyptic. And there's also barbarian clans rising up trying to, <laughs> I don't know. And there's also barbarian clans trying to start anew as well. You know, they can be. taking too long to edit it down so I'm just gonna try and do something Quite a bit of rainforest and hills. This is grassland hills. It's not, it's not what I wanted, <laughs> but let's see. I'm gonna move this guy down here just to see what's over here. I'm thinking of moving my settler down, and that would probably be a mistake. <laughs> uh, this seems like a pretty good spot to be honest. I'm gonna have some good. Uh, tiles to work at the beginning 
these two food, two production tiles. I could also expand towards this chocolate. That wouldn't be so bad. Um, and I have nice places to put down well, a science district and a holy site. So that's awesome. This sort of setup does make it so I can't put down like a ton or something uh, next to these districts, but that should be fine. The only other thing I'm thinking of is maybe moving over one space away from the mountains just so I don't have so many in my capital. Uh, if I moved this way, I mean, all these are still here in my capital, but then if there's any more mountains behind it, I won't have to deal with them. But I think I'd rather not move. Yeah, I'd rather not move. Uh, if I go that way, I also run into what, river uh, floodplains. So I'll go ahead and just settle here. This also lets me have more room on the river. Let's go ahead and do this. Hmm. <laughs> I wish I could guess it. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll go for like science and uh, faith here. See if I can't get like Jesuit or something like that. I let you buy commercial, no wait, not commercial hub, but campus district buildings and theater square district buildings um, with faith. Maybe that's something I'll go for. All right, time to I think I'll scout out. I should scout out this way, right? That's probably where I'm going to be settling next. Oh, I do have apocalypse mode, so that means uh, the frequency of disasters is all the way up. Mm. Might not be great to settle here. Although, if I do get um, that new district, that would be really good here. The, not the new district, what is it? Uh, let's go for a scout. It's the new... What am I thinking of? It's the new wonder. There we go. I could also try and get the great baths. But, um... I feel like that's going to get taken. Especially... I, I would probably need my capital to be next to those things. Anyways, um... Let's go ahead and do that. Code of laws we have to get. I don't think I'd have any horses around here. What, what am I going to be getting? So there's plantations near me. That's kind of like the worst luxuries to have just because it takes so long to get to them. It would have been nice to have some that I could mine or something. Anyways, let's go for camps. Maybe I'll get horses here or something. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, climate starts at one. Ooh, nice. Alrighty, this is looking like a pretty good start now that I'm seeing it. Are we next to the coast? That looks like the coast. Yep. Oh, and there's a nice place I could settle right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. I can get rid of, uh, what is this, a desert tile, which is, I, I can't place any districts on that, so that would be nice to just settle on that. And then I have a really nice harbor here, it's going to be a plus four adjacency. Alright, let's try and scout out this coastline a little bit more. And this guy will keep going down over here. Oh wow, there's a volcano. <laughs> Damn, that kind of stinks. This would be the next closest spot I could settle. For my um, capital. Oh, I, might, I, sh I should be able to settle here. I don't know if that's a good spot though. 
Well, I'll, I'll think about it later. Um, next up, I'll go for a Slinger. Just because there are zombies around. Oh, what did I even get for that? Tribal village. I don't I don't even know. Oh, there's another continent? Okay. Kahokia, we aren't the first ones to meet them. And they're super close to us. Uh, that means we have another civilization really close to us. Hopefully they're not this way. <laughs> Hopefully they're like over here or something. Okay, we automatically went to this tile, that's awesome. I did forget to check and see what tiles were working. This looks good. 11 turns to grow though. Maybe I should buy this tile just so I can grow faster and I get a little bit more production. Is there anything else that's a little bit better? I know food's definitely more important than production in the early game. I might just want to do that. Let's go ahead and go for that. Okay, this guy should come back. I'm going to be working on my settler pretty soon. I am fond of pigs. Uh, did I make sure I was working that? I did not. <laughs> said I was coming back, but let's just check this out. Yep. Hmm. Alright. This is looking a little difficult. Especially if I want to expand this way. There's not that much rainforest or forest or marsh. <laughs> Okay, uh, what's next? I really want to get a religion. I didn't get one during my last playthrough, so let's go for that. I need to see what else is out here. Hmm. Hopefully these coasts are pretty good. Let's see if there's any freshwater spots that are nice. Doesn't seem like it. This is going to be okay. Oh, I mean, if I settle here, um, I can get a harbor and a commercial hub. So that's not the worst, but okay. <laughs> I just noticed if I settle here, I can't, I can't get that. Oh, okay. I may have to settle here or, or something. Out a little bit to our left. this my first city that I settle. This is a nice harbor, but the harbor is going to come... It's going to take a second to get there. That is best. see how this civics tree looks like. Hmm. I really need to meet some more 
city state so I know where I'm going to be getting my next my first government all right so we got military tradition mysticism and foreign trade to start with uh, what's their ability over here I mean their quest inspiration for craftsmanship it's gonna take a while I mean the only good tiles I want to work or it I guess improve our plantations and that's going to take a while to get to let's do barbarian strength and i will get plus one faith and gold warrior back. <laughs> Maybe I'll take my slinger back instead. I got a builder. Alrighty. Um, still don't know where I'm going to be settling. <laughs> and I can't make anything with this builder. I can't, I can't improve any tiles. I have 92 gold. Is there anything I want to buy? Probably not right now. Go ahead and put them to sleep. Oh, there's our first barbarian clan. Hopefully they don't try and come and attack my scout. I'd like to get that tribal village. Okay, we're looking safe for now. It looks like Kahoki is at war with them. Oh, we got Taruga. We didn't meet them first either. So it looks like we're pretty isolated from any other civilization. That's kind of nice. On my last playthrough, I was sort of squished. No, not squished, but I was right next to the Incans. They went to war with me and they messed me up pretty bad. <laughs> oh, did we have any horses near us? There's one horses over here. probably settle somewhere like here-ish on one of these tiles one of these three plain hills tiles that'll still let me do this even if I go here or here so I can still put a city down there um, I'll probably do one of these two just so I have more room on this side and I can also get my builder over here to make a farm, which will let me know where irrigation is. I'm thinking... To the Looks like States we met the United States. I forget if he likes you if you're on his continent or if you're not on his continent. I definitely need to give him um, a delegation though. <laughs> I don't want to go to war with him. Um, send a delegation. Yep, yep. 
Let's see what our first impression is like. Minus seven. Jeez. Please don't go to war with me. Likes peaceful civilization that have a city on his home continent. Hate civilization starting wars against a city-state or civilization based on his continent. Well, I don't usually like doing that anyway, so we should be all good. Shoot our first zombie. Let's see what he looks like. Ugh, they look pretty gross. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay. Um we're good, we're good. And I can attack him this turn nice. Get out of here. Yes, okay, I know where archery is now, that's good. Just in case I need to defend myself. It's pretty close, nice. Last time I was like two, it was like up here. <laughs> and that did not help out with the defense. I got it like just a bit too late. Okay, looks like New York's over here. I may want to settle over here first. Seems like it might take him a while to get up here. Oh wow, just a zombie just appeared out of nowhere. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Some extra experience on this guy. On my scout. I need to start using the names a little bit more for sure. I feel like I just say guy and this and that. <laughs> These pronouns don't really help. Okay, I, I would really like to cut off Teddy from this side. But I have nothing protecting my dudes over here. Um, is there rice that I can put down? Yeah, there's some rice over here. Oh, there's so much floodplains. Alrighty, this is going to be quite the decision. My first city, this one needs to be good. Okay, let's see where the what the settler lens tells us. So this is the closest spot I can get between my capital and Cahokia. So if I settle there, I won't be able to settle any of these tiles. Alright, so... I might just want to settle here. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking it might be a little hard. This is nice. This is going to let me put districts pretty much anywhere I want early game. There is geothermal fissures over here. Boo, boo, boo. How many good tiles can I work? I can work two good tiles immediately. Then I can expand to some cocoa again. Over here, if I settle over here, there's like no good tiles to start out with. 
and then let's say I can put another city somewhere down here and that would let me uh, start cutting off Teddy as well as I can get like closer to having like a triangle of cities to start out with I can maybe I can put a government plaza entertainment complex get some theater squares going Or I can just start running my settler down here and hopefully it doesn't get taken by anything. <laughs> this was definitely a mistake not having my warrior come back. Well, I mean, I know that I need to settle down here now because of that, but still. What's the closest I can settle to Teddy? Maybe this tile. You get fresh water. And I'd still have a bit of room. Not much room to settle on this on this river, although it's all floodplain, so it's not great, especially in apocalypse mode. Could settle like here or all the way over here, and what does this do for like a city over here? Could still settle right next to the volcano. <laughs> Doesn't seem that great. Well, if, I, if I'm going to be settling here, that's not even viable anymore, right? You know, let's go for a nice spot right next to my capital. Let's not, let's not do anything too rash. I don't want to forward settle Teddy and get him angry with us. That would be bad. <laughs> I already did that last time. I don't think it worked out very well. I'm going to try and get my uh, slinger over here and maybe I can uh, take some gold from this guy. I forget what I think I'm going to be raiding it, right? Nope, nope, don't go to war, please. Okay, it's decided. I'm coming over here. <laughs> Let's put down a little tack. Make it official. What am I working? Okay, I'm working the food. I'm working this tile. I'm making some pretty good money. I wonder what I'll buy next. Not sure. Let's go for... I'm about to go get Astrology so I can get a Holy Site up. I might want to start working on that next. Um, you know what? Let's buy another unit over here. Oh, it costs 100. Oh, they're going to give me an Eagle Warrior. That's why it costs so much. I mean, I want to save up for that. That way I can keep myself safe. Oh, <laughs> keeps coming up. That way I can keep myself safe. Let's start working on the monument. I'm going to want that pretty soon anyways. Oh my god. There's just zombies spawning now. They keep beating up Kahokio. Try and run away. Whoa, there's all this desert. I can't settle anywhere here. I can't put districts down. A physician without a Okay, looks like we got astrology. Uh, let's go for pottery next, just because I might want archery. Oh, irrigation. I see irrigation. So that would be mining, writing, and then irrigation. So I think I'm going to be going to war that soon. Let's see how Teddy likes us. Oh, he's unhappy with us. 
I wonder how many turns it's gonna take before he gets this um, big stick policy. Are we not on his continent, maybe? Oh, jeez. Please don't tell me that. We are not on his home continent. So he automatically just doesn't like us. Okay, let's go for uh, archers. <laughs> I should be able to settle here next turn. I'm pretty close to getting this uh, scout to just auto-explore. I think I've explored it. pretty much everything around me. That I'll want to settle soon. Okay, nice. No, I'm not going to be able to settle that city this turn, darn it. Oh, I'm still going for the monument, aren't I? Well, that's going to be coming up soon. I might as well. Let's queue up the holy site. So am I going to want extra faith or extra science? Probably extra science. Well, this will be a plus four... Yeah, let's go for the holy site first. Let's go ahead and set that. And I'm thinking that just so I can get a plus four campus here. Forget if you need a plus three or plus four to get the extra error score, but just let's just make sure. Oh, nice. It's like a little place up here with a bunch of planes, a little lake. And now I definitely need to come back. <laughs> Go through here. Maybe I can help out take out this bar barbarian encampment. Hopefully none of them spawn anywhere close to us. Let's do this. We'll get irrigation advanced boosted, I guess I should say. Yeah, there's so much plantations around us. What am I going to be able to do? I can harvest uh, improved farm resources. That would be this. Uh, what are we grabbing here? Uh, let's go for the extra food. It'll take us a little longer to build everything, obviously, but definitely want it. I kind of want to buy up this tile, like, immediately. <laughs> but uh, I don't think I should. Let's go ahead and go for a slinger. We're going to be getting a trade route here soon. And I still have this envoy that I haven't plugged into anything. I'm thinking of putting it into Taruga. I want Cahokia to be my... I, draw, I want to get Suzerainty over them just so they can help me out in case um, America goes to war with me. So I think I'll, I'll go with that. Oh wow, Kahokia destroyed it? I didn't know they could destroy those in those clans. Last time I was playing, um, I don't know, I was surrounded. I, it was the last uh, one that I posted, right? There was just a bunch of city-states around an encampment and they just never took it all over. Uh, I guess that's, that was just a coincidence. I can't get that Eagle Warrior now. Should I go ahead and buy this tile then? It's going to take 37 turns. Yeah, let's go for that. It looks like we need amenities already, darn it. Alright, I know I want the food, but I think the gold will be nice too. anything <laughs> I 
can improve any tiles. That's so many turns to get to irrigation. How long until I get a government title? Governor title? I can already start working on this? That's weird. Oh, it goes straight from here over to here. It's interesting. Let's keep you nice and safe. That's the positive aspect of Oh shoot. Um, I'm kind of worried about this Kokian warrior getting killed, so I'm going to go ahead and attack into this zombie just to make sure, well, I'm not going to be able to make sure, but I'm going to make it less likely that this guy's going to die from him. I mean, Teddy's going to be able to attack, right? Maybe he'll take it out. Fingers crossed. Alright, let's go for early Empire. I should be able to get that boosted here pretty soon in six turns. So that'll be halfway, which is nice. Still haven't got my Pantheon, so let's keep this in. Can I buy a trader? How much does it cost to get a trader? 170. I think that's what I'll save up for. What's our city state uh, goal? Uh, it's going to be build a government plaza. Which is just a general goal for me too. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, it looks like Kahoki no is the one that took it up. Let's make sure they're protected. I don't want... Okay, cool. I didn't want another zombie to just pop up and attack it. Gotta make sure those zombies don't get out of control, you know? got an improvement. Wow, Cahokia's units are really good already. Nice. I definitely want them as my... I definitely want to get Suzerainty over them. It's going to keep me nice and safe. Okay, and this warrior, let's get him back to my territory. I think he's been away long enough. Ooh, they also have archers. Nice. What the heck? I'm already in the Dark Age. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, hmm. I guess my exploration didn't really uncover anything that nice. I don't have suzerainty over anything. This is bad. <laughs> A Dark Age to start. Well, it's only loyalty pressure, right? Um, which shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we're going to get our archers here soon. Don't know why I turned there. That wasn't a great move. Oh, I also haven't taken out any things. I didn't get that many tribal villages. Mm -hmm. Didn't settle to anything like river uh, floodplains or anything. This is also... Feels like it's ending pretty soon. It usually ends like turn 50. Well, I guess it's going to end turn 47, right? <laughs> okay, let's make sure we're working the food. I want the city to grow. Oh, I can buy that trader now. Let's move this guy down to here. You'll heal. And I could have bought that trader a while ago. <laughs> I guess I could just save up for a monument in this city. That might be better. Can I get our first holy site up? Can't we do a pantheon yet? I guess not. I guess I'll work for on the trader over here. Back over the past. I'm 
gonna get on this hill and just heal up. Why did I get, um... Oh, okay, gotcha. Specialty district has been improved. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and I still haven't met that third city-state, so I don't even know where uh, the first government types are going to be. How's the great people, great profit going? Looks like only two people are going for it. Uh, am I going to be generating great people points here? A great profit points? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see what my capital is working on. It has the food tile. Let's go for this one instead. How long does it take to make a settler? 11 turns. How much does that shrine cost? I might want to go for the shrine instead of the monument. Let's try and get state workforce next. Oh my god, that takes so much to get there. I'm not going to be improving tiles anytime soon anyways. Let's just go for that. I'm going to be buying the shrine. Let's go for the settler then. Do I get extra settler production? I can. Okay, let's go for that. And I'll do that just once. Teddy is still a bit May far away for him to actually come and attack me. And I can always have someone over here just to scout it out. So I should have the same thing over here. See if he's walking around this way. Alright, we got to archery. And we pretty much can't get to anywhere else. Let's just go for irrigation. Do I have a governor title? Nice. I'm going to appoint Pingala first. I just want to be able to get to irrigation as soon as possible. As well as it, it helps me get to the first government type sooner. Okay, we can finally choose our Pantheon. That took forever. Let's see, we can get plus one culture from plantations. There's going to be one, two, three, four in our immediate vicinity. That's pretty much the only improvement that looks good. I can also try and go for quarries, it looks like. Some quarries to the north and the south. But those definitely aren't as plentiful. I mean, we have plantations down here as well. So if I'm going to be going for an improvement type, it's going to be... I have a lot of coastline too. Anyways, it would be plantations for sure. Let's see what else we got though. River goddess. Ooh, I kind of missed up on that one. I do have a lot of rivers. That would have been nice. If I'd actually put this like right here. <laughs> and I still would have gotten like a plus three campus. Oops. Which would have been nice. That, that would have still been good. see what else we got. I can also go for a free builder, but I already got one of those, kind of. And city growth rate is actually not that bad. That sort of helps you get to that 15 population for those, like, rationalism cards. So this only works for desert floodplains, but I do have some march around me, right? I only have two here and none up here. None down here, never mind. <laughs> That's not a good one. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm probably gonna be going for the pastures. Oh, the uh, plantations. Holy Site District gets plus one faith from adjacent rainforest tiles. Hmm. 
that's interesting, but no, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be going for that. It's not quite enough, and I'm not going to go for a religious victory. I'm, <laughs> I'm just not fond of those. There's Divine Spark as well, which will help me get a great scientist and just any sort of... Oh, this only gives you great rider points. Hmm, I thought that would give you, like, all the different types. I guess that sort of makes sense. <laughs> that would be pretty overpowered. Especially for something you get so early on. So I don't really have anything to mine. So these two are kind of out of the question. There's a lot of volcanoes around me. I feel like this is the easy choice. I mean, I have some plantations around me. I'm going to be able to get to them pretty soon. Uh, so it would definitely be between that and Divine Spark. Uh, let me just make sure what are the Great Prophets looking like. So it looks like I'm getting one. So I'm already getting plus one. And I can buy the shrine here in the next turn. Why am I losing? Oh, I, I built I built some stuff. Could have sworn this was higher. And it was. <laughs> um, I always take so long to make these decisions. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go for the extra culture. won't help out that much later on but early game a little bit of extra culture goes a long way okay, how many turns until i get that uh, let's go for divine spark <laughs> so help me out throughout the entire game right oh wow there's already one religion they took the watts i kind of wanted that and they got feed the world which is another good one Kind of like that because again it gets you towards those like rationalism cards a little bit faster Alrighty, it looks like teddy's kind of encroaching on my space let me try and move my archer over there to make it a little harder for him to set up if he is actually planning on that This is a nice setup. It kind of makes it impossible for him to get up, come this way. We gotta keep our eyes on zombies and other stuff up here. As well as Teddy trying any shenanigans going up here. And we've gone into a dark age. <laughs> when you find yourself, I like to say I practice me. It's not terrible. Oh wow, there's a hurricane, giant hurricane in the middle of the desert. That's probably a dust storm, to be honest. <laughs> okay, he got into a normal age. Let's go for Exodus of the Evangelist. I think I should be able to get some religious units pretty soon. The settler bonus, do I want that? That would still be nice. What are we going for next? A seven turn. One over here. Uh, we can't get any of these, right? Um, so I would just plug in plus one production. I don't even know how much production. There's 10 production here. So that would be, what, 15 production going into a settler. It's definitely way better. This guy would just get plus one. Oh, they give you Cahokia mounts. I love Cahokia mounts. Plus one amenity, extra housing, plus food. It's nice. How many turns is it going to take me to get to the next one? Seven turns. So seven turns I have plus 50% towards settlers. That doesn't seem 
great, especially since I'm only going to need it for three turns. Let's go for this. And these guys will stay on alert. Kind of vulnerable from the north. But that's only a problem if... Oh, wow. <laughs> It's like skating right around my scout. That's nice. That's only a problem if like zombies start popping up over here though. And I'll see an encampment come up if that happens. Okay, let's try and find that third city state. I really want to get that. What is it called? That extra... What am I thinking of? Oh, wow. I didn't get the shrine. Let's get the shrine. I'm going to buy that. That could have been extra faith. Extra great person points already. Darn it. Ooh, I can make a preserve. I think that's pretty bad, right? There's like too much rainforest around me for anything to look pretty. Maybe up here I'd be able to make a shrine or something. Put down some trees, make it look nice. Okay, I can upgrade my slingers whenever I want. I might want to just save up my money for that. Okay, we're going to be brushing up against uh, the population limit up here. What are we working? I still only have four people working stuff. And that'll probably go down this next turn just because... Because um, we, we got the settler this turn, right? So that's probably a little off. I'll still go for the granary, though. It was a fantastic landscape. Hey, we finally found for something. For all around oh, were man. rocks of the weirdest forms standing in apparently impossible positions. Some placed on or next to others in ways that seem to defy every law of gravity. Kind of talked over Sean being there. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, it's always nice to hear him talk about everything. Okay, political philosophy has been boosted, and we finally found our third city-state. Yep. Let's see where that's at. So it looks like I needed to get state workforce anyways. I'm just going to be going straight for that. Okay. And I can't boost this anyways. Okay. What do you want? Recruit a great prophet. I'll be doing that pretty soon. Inspiration for craftsmanship. And construct a government plaza. Those are all definitely within reach. How long until I get irrigation? Six turns. All right. Okay, this next settler is going to be coming down to the south. Writing is easy. Looks like Teddy's kind of leaving me alone. I don't want to settle too close to him. But I definitely want to cut him off a little bit. Friendly meeting, sent them a delegation. The first impression is going away. So if I can get a city on his home continent, that's actually a good thing. So I think I'm just, yeah, anywhere down here would be good. And we'll, we won't be at war. Alright, let's scout out. Um, so all these tiles are pretty good just because of that um, all the flooding that's been going on hmm so I already get minus one pressure over here
Doesn't look like anything's gonna be coming down from the north, and I should be able to get Cahokia as my dude. Let's go ahead and send this trade route down to New York. That way it's kind of easier to get down to the city if I do get attacked. That's gonna make it easier for him to get to me though. Taruga gives me the same bonuses. Oh, he has, does he have Suzerainty over Taruga? Oof, it would be really bad if I went to war with him. Alright, let's try and see where I'm going to be settling. A little... Confusing. So I can settle here, or I guess I would want to settle here, right? That wouldn't give me a good harbor, so that would be bad. So I'd want to settle here. That would automatically take this position out. But I could still settle here. It's a bit close to the volcano for my liking, especially on Apocalypse mode. I'd want to settle like here or something. Would it be so bad if I settled, say, on this tile instead? So if I settle here, he can still settle on this though. I feel like this cuts him off a little bit better. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll come back and try to settle here on this geothermal fissure. Just filling it out, filling out the area. And this guy I will send to... So if I'm going to be settling here, let's go to Ruga. How many turns have I been working on this? It seems like just the one turn. Let me put down my plus four campus. I think I should go for that instead. I really need to grow to seven population though. So I can get that next, uh, <laughs> go, uh, so I can get the government plaza here. Just notice doing that kind of messes that up. Hmm. I mean, plus four science right now would be really great. And it gets boosted by Pingala. Let's go for the campus. For sure. Wow, we have minus two amenities over here. Try and just sit on this tile. Ooh, he can go over hills. Because rainforest and woods aren't really that big of a deal for my sieve. should I work on over here? Should I go in for another builder? So I'll be able to improve this. I think I'm supposed to take away plantation, so I might destroy that. No, well, I'll, I'll go for the cocoa first then, right? So I'll improve this, improve the cocoa, and this I won't touch yet. And then I'll take away the bananas. And then this will basically be somewhere where I'm going to be putting down either, what's it called? A district, or I can put down one of those um, sawmills or something. 
I always forget the name of things. I could also put a Ton here. That wouldn't be too bad. So Ton here, Government Plaza, Science District. Well, the Science District should be, definitely go over here, right? Plus three from that Geothermal. Plus two, I guess. And then I have all this Rainforest. Let's go ahead and go for the campus. At the very least, I'll put it down. <laughs> and I'll go for the granary in here. Is that right? I should have went for the monument. How long does it take to get the political philosophy? So it'll be nine turns to even get to that point. I think monument is definitely better. Uh, once I get this plantation, it'll get plus one housing over here. How much housing does this guy have? Six. Why isn't it um, improving? Oh, gotcha, because of that. Oh, I took away this good tile. Can I buy anything that's good? Let's see, let's look around. No, I definitely want it to be growing, though. Let's go for the marsh tile. Plus for science is really good. <laughs> Looks like we've met Hammurabi. You know what, I'm betting this is why the ancient era ended so soon. He probably got some sort of boost in the, um, what's the next era? Classical era? And that automatically triggered it. Okay, let's have a good meeting. He's already, wow, he got right next to this, so that's a bunch of science, but like, that doesn't really help him, huh? Anyways, it's going to be kind of hard for him to expand into the desert, so this all this area seems pretty free for us. We'll see, though. The AI does some pretty weird stuff sometimes. definitely be setting stuff up here just to try and block him from setting up against this city. Hmm. Oh, is he already setting up against this other city? Damn. Well, let's settle here. And next turn, he should automatically like us a little bit better. We didn't really forward settle him that much. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. Yeah, he's coming after me. Um, let's try and dissuade him. So I definitely need to get some more units. Darn it. Okay, um... I need to upgrade these guys. So that'll be first. Let's bring down our dudes. How many envoys do I have? I only have one more. Am I going to be getting another envoy anytime soon? No, it doesn't look like it. Damn. Okay. Let's go for a warrior here. Let's go for another archer over here. I'm going to be getting a Coco next turn. Maybe I can trade that with him. And that'll make him like me a little bit more. As for this city, I think we need to just need to go for like another unit warrior. Hmm. OK, 
okay, we can we made a promise to him. Well, he probably doesn't like that we settled close to him. But the we man did who has grit enough. Make a promise. What's it looking like? Settled near them, minus three. I'm on your home continent though. Okay, we got the archers being set up. We'll have an archer over here pretty soon. We have some cocoa to trade with him. Let's go ahead and make a deal. Probably should have got just base gold instead. Just because he'll probably go to war with us. That would have just given us the gold right off the bat. Couldn't take it back. What are these called? Lumber mill. <laughs> Sawmill. That was close. Let's go for bronze working. I want to get up some tons. Man, I really hope he doesn't declare war on us. Okay, so this is another deal. Open borders. So we're getting more and more trades. Let's go ahead and say hi to the Maori. Where are they? Uh, it doesn't show us. Darn it. Okay, and I have been unsuccessful in having him set up. <laughs> He's definitely set up now. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to purchase this tile so that gives me extra uh, defense on that tile. Ooh, that was a mistake right there. Oh, this archer's probably going to die. Damn, everyone already has... Oh, the, well, at least these guys have swordsmen. What do I need? I need inspiration for craftsmanship. So I need to get this plantation or that one as soon as possible. Let's go here. That'll be three turns. Okay, he won't be able to capture this guy. Let's go ahead and put in... The envoy into there. Okay, let's put you back into here. And this guy actually needs to back up. Oh man. Is this marsh at least? No, it's not. Um, let's back up over here. Okay, this is not looking good. <laughs> he has 233 army. He has Taruga on his side. I'll be able to get Cahokia here next turn. I wish it was this turn that would most likely dissuade him. It is equally important. Did that kill my builder? Oh my god. That That is horrible. Wow. <laughs> is he at least liking us a little bit more? What well, what's happening? Relationship Sent them a delegation, open borders. So we have slightly better relationship with him. We have a plus one. Looks like he's backing off. Hopefully he is. Um, what's it look like for the great people? How many have the uh, how many religions? Only two religions. Plus one in all cities. Whew. Okay. I think he's backing off. We'll see, though. This is a little stressful. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> of course, of course he still attacked us. We should be fine. We're pretty a pretty good defensive suit. Uh, let's send this to Cahokia. Damn. 
can't believe I can't. I didn't get that uh, craftsmanship bonus. That really hurts. Having Kahoki on our side would have been really good. When wasteful war. I kind of want to attack this guy, but I think once I get the archer, I should be able to beat him up a little bit more easily. Let's try and kill this um, swordsman. There we go. And as for this guy, he just needs to auto explore now, I think. Let's see if we can't get open borders over here. Just 12 coins, sure, whatever. Wouldn't mind exploring a little more. This guy's gonna get the plus 10. Ooh, easy. That guy's already dead. Alright, I feel confident in this war. Uh, let's try and get one more archer, though. Should probably just get it from here. And this guy will go for the monument still. Okay, we can get one more. Governor title. Let's go ahead and promote him. Get plus one culture per citizen. This war is definitely setting me back just a bit. Plus five versus land units. Looks like that archer is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. It shouldn't kill us though. I can always switch these guys out if I feel like they're in danger. That guy's dead. And it looks like he shouldn't be able to get to that traitor. Having Cahokia would be so nice right now. Craftsmanship. How long till I can get another builder? Seven turns. Let's go for that. Uh, I think that's still within the war window. Oh, what the heck? He killed it. 68 damage? What the heck? Do they have a bonus when it comes to, like, hitting me? What it I really don't know. Damn it. Damn it. I need to be more safe there. I'm also interested. Go ahead and attack into this guy. At least I'll be on the hills. Okay, we can start making tons. We know where the iron is. This is a nice little reveal. Uh, what, what do we see? So we can get the void chan up here. We already have three archers. We need to go for shipbuilding. Uh, let's go for the wheel. Might as well. Kind of want to fill out that lower half. Okay, nice. I'm protecting my trade route. 
Damn, their archers are pretty nice. I wonder why that is. Divide and rule. Okay, I should be able to attack it anyways. Um, looks like this guy's dead. Unless he runs away. Can't get craftsmanship yet. So let's go for military training. I almost went for oligarchy, but I don't think I should be doing that. Plus 10 production towards wonders. That isn't really anything. Plus 15% great person points. And all cities with a district receive plus one housing and amenities. Let's go for that. Uh, plus one production. Do I have the production towards builders? No, I don't. I'm in a defensive war. This might be good. No, I, I don't have that many melee units, do I? Maybe, maybe. Get extra influence points and uh, don't really know what else to do here. Plus, plus two gold, I guess. I have one trader. Seems like they really want to get that trader. <laughs> it's always just out of reach, which is good for me. Alright, we got a great profit. Can get a religion going. And it looks like we are finally safe. We lost one unit and we had to lower our gold per turn. But for the most part, it looks like everything went well. Purchase this tile and I'm gonna put my ton there. I think I'll just go to work on that. Oh, I can make a religion. Yay! <laughs> I definitely love doing this. I've had a pretty hard time of getting them though in deity games. Which feels like I I always just go for them too late. That's why I always try and get that holy site early, especially if I want a religion. Leaves it a little open to attack. I'll go for Buddhism. Leaves it a little open to attack, but eh, I think it's worth it. May purchase campus and theater square district buildings with faith. That's the thing that I wanted to get. Um, oh, let's uh, make sure though. For your monks, uh, no, thank you, reliquaries. I'm not going to be getting that many relics. Um, wonders are hard to come by in deity, so not divine inspiration. Religious community international trade routes provide plus two gold to cities with holy sites and an additional plus two gold for every building in the holy site district. So you basically want to send out trade routes from your holy sites. Plus one amenity, holy site districts, faith adjacency bonus provides production as well. That's pretty good. That makes uh, the holy site adjacency even better. They, that makes holy sites kind of work like um, the harbors. That's actually kind of cool. At least uh, harbors with um, a seaport. Not a seaport. It's, um, I forget what it's called. 
But yeah, it, it makes them act like harbors. So that would give me plus three production in my city, my capital. Kind of makes me want to build more holy sites. So it's between work ethic and Jesuit education. I know that for sure. This, in a way, makes faith act like production as well. Except it won't be able to be used for everything. This also frees me up to do other things. So let's go for work ethic. Uh, do other things with my faith. I definitely want to get like um, a missionary here soon. go for one of the buildings and I want a missionary because that's gonna give me error score I'll look at if look and see if we have any turns coming up or the next era is coming up I mean allows construction of cathedrals allows construction of domers so these two are out I might go for the synagogue or the gurdwara the gurdwara is actually pretty nice I don't have many uh, resources next to me from what I can tell. I have tea and I have cocoa. Oh, and I have grapes down here, right? There's salt up there. There's probably more stuff. I think furs. I don't necessarily need the stupas. Let's go for the Gudwaras. Found this religion. Let's do error score. And we're looking good to get maybe a heroic age for the next era. Fingers crossed. You never know what'll happen. How many turns? Two more turns until peace has to be made. Oh, shoot. Well, okay. <laughs> um, I can move the archer here. Shoot that guy. It's at 33. I'm going to move here. I should still have one more movement. I can shoot this guy. And this dude comes over here and heals. Alrighty. So it looks like this war's already started to spawn zombies, which really stinks. Because the war was basically in my territory. Ugh. Okay, so this guy, one of these guys is going to be able to attack him. So let's move him back. Neither of them will be able to hit my city this turn, so that's nice. I have a granary, a campus. Uh, go for the campus. What did I just get? Oh, I got a archer. That's good. No, I need a government plaza really soon. Let's go for the granary. Kapukate! Gosh darn it, everyone hates me. <laughs> What's up with that? Okay, let's get some more defense. And this guy gets some experience. Over here. Let's attack with my archer to get a little of experience. And let's see if we can't piece him out. Okay, he doesn't want to piece out yet. I need to start moving some guys down here to protect this city a little bit better. Uh, looks like I can't do any more construction on the Tan because he's on top of it. Archer is the move here, and I'll keep that guy there. I might, I might want to switch these guys out or put the Archer back here. That way he'll get more combat bonus. And having the Warrior here will make the garrison strength on this better. I should have did that last turn. Nope, nope, never mind. They're backing up. Cool, cool. Don't reinvent. Okay, let's finally improve this plantation. <laughs> now that I'm thinking that, that's probably a bad move. 
to die again. Oh well, we're going for it. Gonna grab currency, I think. Can I be getting what what what, what did I work towards here? I went for the wheel. I kinda wanna harbor now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, that's not going to come up anytime soon, it seems, though. Should be able to build an Iron Man here soon. Oh, shoot. Oh, anyways, you can attack him at least. Oh, wow, they have catapults. Interesting. Okay. This guy's dead. Get you back into home territory. And this guy needs to probably stay here. So I can attack anything that comes in. Towards this city. Um, let's go for the taunt again. See if we can go for peace now. Nope. Okay. And next turn, I should have Cahokia as my city-state. That'll definitely help out. So I can actually get onto this tile and get some extra attack on this. Ooh, that's not good. Let's go ahead and smack him. Let's back up over here. I wonder if that all changed the math in his head. Nope. Mm. Okay, so we got the extra housing now. We're definitely growing nicely. I think we're good with the number of units we have. I could use maybe one more archer to keep beating up on this catapult. Okay, it's just healing. Let's attack into it. Hmm. So we're at four uh, population here. I could go for... What did I put down here? Put down a campus. Um, I wouldn't mind starting to build the Taun here. Could buy that tile and go for that. Or I could just make sure I get the science early on. I still need culture though. And that's the Taun's where I'm going to be getting that. But uh, let's go for science. I'm going for a Taun over here anyways. Shoot. Okay. Upgraded. do against it here. Plus five. And I don't want to be sitting on that. Okay, let's stand on the rainforest. That way I'll have more movement next turn. Oh wow, Bologna. Bologna's really good. Anyways, um, I'll keep that envoy just in case Kahokia gets taken away from me. And let's go for the mines next. What tiles are this guy is this guy working on? I probably should have bought a tile here a long time ago. Uh, so he's got a two and a one, a two and a one, a two and a two. Alrighty. 
flying this tile would be nice, but I think I am saving up for something. Nothing in particular, but I I know there's something I'm going to want to get, right? Can't purchase anything there. I can get a monument. Plus one culture. Let's leave that alone for now. I'll probably want to upgrade my units first before I do that. Okay, let's move you onto the rice and get this guy down here. Okay, let's see if we can't kill this dude. Oh, okay. Alright, this guy can move in, attack him. Attack. I really should have attacked with this guy. Oh, okay. I'm not going to be able to kill that catapult. I needed to attack with this guy second, so I could free up this spot. Alrighty. Plus five, he's out in the open. Let's get him that one. I really want to get rid of that catapult, but maybe we can just make beasts. Nope. Never mind. Okay, we can get... We can get something soon. What are those things called? The uh, swordsmen. Everything has its... I'm going to go ahead and attack into this. No, but then we're right next to the... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. One of these guys needed to upgrade. Oh, he already upgraded. Cool. Um, I'm going to back this guy and see if he can't heal. For some reason, that wasn't an option. Oh, the... Oh, gotcha. That's why they're doing so good. Completely forgot I had a policy that makes it so I can't, um... Heal outside my territory. It's actually been helping out, I think. I can also start making Swordsman. I think I'll do that. That'll also get me some arrow score. How long until I can make a Missionary? It's one more turn. The ton's almost done. Plus three arrow score for this campus over here. Oh, let's go for a ton, I think. There's nothing really next to it that would be good, though. I need to wait for that government plaza. How long until I can get that? Let's make sure we're focusing on food. Let's see what we're getting. Okay, those are good tiles to be working. Oof, there's so many mountains in my capital. That really stinks. Might have been better to just move up once or something. Anyways, um, let's see, where can I put the ton? I might put like the government plaza here. But the government plaza next to ton, I, I want a ton here and here, so they kind of mess with each other, don't they? And this is for um, for every adjacent district. So it doesn't need to be a specialty district, at least. So the two ton next to each other kind of works out. Maybe that's what I'll do. 
I'll put my ton here. I'll have another ton here. I'll have a faith district here, and then I'll have my government plaza. For now though, let's go ahead and make a builder. I think I need to upgrade some tiles. Let's see if he'll get peace now. He's kind of lost. A lot of his units. No, he's still not doing it. It's kind of weird. I guess the fact that he has Taruga makes him feel better. I don't know. Can't I? That'll actually be kind of nice. Let me see what it says. Okay, Cahokia Mounds provide plus three gold. Cities receive plus one amenity from the first Cahokia Mound improvement. Upon discovering natural history, cities receive plus one amenity from their second Cahokia Mound improvement. Plus one food for every two adjacent districts once feudalism is discovered, or for every adjacent district once replaceable parts is researched. Provides plus one housing. Receive an additional housing with cultural heritage. Okay, so that actually needs to be next to districts. Is that what I saw? Yeah. It needs to be next to two districts. Or at least one. Maybe I'll put it here, right? Cahokia Mound, that's going to give me... I have two districts here. That, that, that gave me the extra food. Nice. Oh, I have an extra cocoa. I should be selling that. It's been a long time coming. He won't buy it. Let's see if Hammurabi will. Or <laughs> Maui. Or what? Is, Kupe. Let's see if Kupe will buy it. He should. Three gold a turn. That's pretty low. It's because he doesn't like us. Well. We gotta make a friendship at some point, right? Do we have... We have open borders? No, he can't get open borders yet. Cool. Two gold to turn for open borders. What about this guy? We already have open borders. Cool. Oh. I can go for craftsman now. <laughs> Completely forgot. Okay. I think I should stop playing soon. It's been a while. If I upload this whole thing, it's going to be an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> uh, that'll take a second. Okay, I still don't have enough iron. Let's move him into the district. And this guy, I'll move on to this. And that'll be a nice defensive position. I can also start helping out up here too. It's done. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship. If it's natural to kill, how come men have to go into training to learn how? <laughs> I was not going for appease the gods, that's for sure. Oh, I need to get that. Um, well, I guess I don't need error score, huh? But I still want to spread my religion. Let's go ahead and get that, and I'll start spreading it to my two cities and. Also for the K K K K Kahokia. Okay, once this is done, I'll go for the Tan or the library. Okay, let's attack you. Attack. And back up. Wow, 
Oh, the barracks takes so long to get. And I think, yeah, I'm going to go for the Ton for sure. Because then I can try and buy a barracks, which will help me with production. And then that will just help me out pump out uh, settlers even more. I think I'm a little behind on settler production. So I kind of need a setup for that a little bit better. Need, I still need one more population here, darn it. Okay, let's queue up the Ton. Where am I going to put it? So it'll probably be two Ton next to each other, right? So this guy's going to put his Ton there. Put mine here. And I'll save up to be able to buy the barracks. How much does that cost? 360. So I don't need to save up too much. Still making pretty good money. I feel like I should be building my districts on certain tiles in case I want culture or faith or whatever, but that hasn't really come up, to be honest. I still want the adjacency bonus a little bit more. It's also kind of hard to be too picky with where you want to put stuff. Sometimes it's, it's just not uh, it's just not in the cards. <laughs> this guy is about to brush up on the housing limit. So let's go for the granary. Well, I mean, barracks isn't that much more, right? It's gonna get plus one production instead of the food. I feel like I can get plenty of food here. Let's go ahead and go for the production. I have two of these things. What is, what is it called? Envoys? I don't think I need to use them yet. Still can't upgrade. What happened? Oh, last time it said I needed 12 more. Gotcha. Okay. This makes sense then. <laughs> oh, my uh, guy's been running around over here. Completely forgot about that scout. Does he want to make peace yet? Let's see. I think I need to start walking into his territory to scare him a little bit. I'll start doing that here pretty soon. I can't get adjacency bonus. Let's back up, shoot, and see if I can't. Yep, there we go. That'll take out that guy. I kind of want to walk in and try and take out that archer, but it's a little risky. I'm just going to hit this guy in the ocean, or in the lake. Let's have this guy heal up. Um, I haven't been changing this at all. <laughs> Let's see, I can spend 45 gold if I need anything in particular. Let's see. Ooh, encampment districts. Um, and their buildings. I think I'll go ahead and put that in instead of Twilight Valor. I'm building an encampment. And I'm building a building for an encampment, so... Why not? Yep, that significantly decrease this nice let's finally get this plantation going hey look it's gandhi nice escape i always forget you can't click through to that you gotta push escape to skip that Okay, I kind of want to start sending all my forces down, but I've killed so many units over here, there's probably going to be zombies popping up at some point. So I can't really just send everything down to attack. Jeez, I really want this war to be over. He's still not willing to do it. Let's 
go ahead and make a good impression on Gandhi. I haven't made a good impression on anyone so far. Let's go ahead and sell this for now. I'm going to be getting another one soon. Nice. He's going to be giving us a lot of gold. Um, I could definitely start buying stuff up. But we'll see. We'll see what we'll do. I might want to get like um, a builder down here. Could start getting a farm triangle. Maybe up here as well. Or I guess it would be these three, right? Nice. Forgot about our first missionary. Alrighty, there we go. Finally. Okay, so that means he should make peace with me later, right? I kind of want to attack some of his units. Get some extra... Oh, I don't want to kill anything though, right? <laughs> Let's just damage some stuff. See how that works out. Create with the heart. Okay, that won't kill. Uh, but this guy will for sure. Okay, let's move him back. I'll keep this area nice and defended with some archers and one warrior. Alrighty, let's go to peace now. Um, he was going to give me this. Uh, let's see if we can get two. No, I'm going to get wine, so it's fine. Uh, he was going to give me one of these. Let's go for two. And see if he won't give me 100 gold. Nope. Let's go for 80. 180. <laughs> uh, let's go for 50. Okay. I'll take this. It's not so bad. Can I get like an iron? Or two? Four, maybe? How much iron? Six. Five. Okay. Let's go for that. This way I can go ahead and whenever I want, I can upgrade these guys. I think I'll wait for that though. What can I buy over here? I can buy a library, a granary, a watermill. This guy's already on. Let's go ahead and buy the granary. And I'll still have enough to get the a building over here. Oh, this guy really needs to get some extra food going. Let's see. I need to grow at least like one turn earlier. This feels like a mistake that's going to really hurt if I do that. Uh, I think the pastures is a safer move. I'm still a little ways away from needing to build settlers here. So I don't need to get that um, barracks any all that soon. And over here, I was going to build the Tong. That's going to be in one turn. It's not a specialty district, so I don't need to worry too much. Let's go ahead and put the Holy Site down. Whoa. Some better adjacency over there, but I want to get these Tongs going with good culture. So let's put it down over here. Our science is looking good. That's nice. good base of uh, religion going on here. We're going to have four cities in good standing with uh, no thank you in good standing with Buddhism I said I was supposed to stop here soon <laughs> I think I kept playing for like 20 minutes um, 
yeah, let's go ahead and I think this will be our last turn, turn, right? Um, let's see, where can I send this guy? For some reason I'm getting gold. From trading with my own dudes. Oh, gotcha. I got that, uh, thing plugged in. Maybe I want to get rid of that. Plus two gold from trade routes. I only have one. Campus adjacency bonus. That came at just the right time. Let's go building this stuff. I'm going to be building another Ton soon, right? So this is good. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I have two of these. Let's go ahead and plug in. First envoy you send gives you an extra envoy. Oh, what the heck? I already got one with Bologna. That was a mistake. Oh, I, I might have... I must have gotten... I think he wanted me to get a great profit, so I couldn't really stop that. Another governor. Hmm. Kind of want to get Magnus going. Let's see... How long before I can get the next uh, governor title? So I'd have to go for defensive tactics. That would be 12 turns. Uh, it'll probably be 12 turns before I actually start. Oh, uh, what was I going to say? So I have three there, three there, three there. Yeah, this city just isn't growing fast enough. Watermill wouldn't really help. Still need to do that trader. Let's see, view promotion. So settlers trained in the city do not consume a population. That's what I want. Let's just go for science. That'll be fine. I don't need Magnus. get this in two turns because I can definitely do it next turn oh these guys don't get they do get plus four movement so I'll definitely be able to get on this and destroy the bananas let's go for the pastures I guess I'd rather improve than destroy I don't think I'm going for a governor title. I think I should go for theology. Should get a temple up. I think I'll get a trade with, with Washington. Plus four gold. A science and production in this city. Like these guys are going to settle up here pretty soon. And I don't want to make a swordsman quite yet. I'd like the Aeroscore to go into the next round. I got the Tan built. Should I go for next? I'll go for a library and then I'll switch into the government plaza before it's finished. And I'll plop that down here. Ooh, this guy should be working on a Tan. Glad I caught that. It's already plus four. That'll be plus six with this guy. Oh, if I harvest this, he'll automatically. Turn to seven, and then I can just put down the government plaza. Could have did that with the bananas too. Let's 
go down to the wine. I think I should get that. This wouldn't be a bad place for a Cahokia Mountains, not that I'm seeing. Wealth consists not in Okay, let's go for that. Gandhi likes us. He actually wants us to spread our religion to him a little bit. Okay, we'll get the government pause in four turns. I don't need to be doing this anymore. Let's leave that alone. Let's get rid of that. What are we looking at if I get rid of all these lock tiles? Okay, it's still the same thing. Yeah, I definitely need to be improving these tiles. I think these two guys will be making some... Uh, okay, I think these guys will be making some... Co some... Coffee. <laughs> I was about to... Uh, someone's about to make coffee, so I was thinking about it. Um, these guys will be making some builders. I think I need to go now. Uh, it's been two hours. I'll edit this down pretty lightly. And then I'll try to put it up as fast as possible. Because um, that's... I don't want to work on these things so much anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, looks like we're doing good. We're going to be pumping out a bunch of settlers soon. We fended off Teddy Roosevelt. And we made at least one friend in Gandhi. <laughs> Hopefully he stays that way. Maybe we'll make Teddy our friend as well. Um, we're actually not that behind in terms of science and culture, which is pretty awesome. I feel like at this point we'd definitely be behind. Uh, I'm much further behind. Let me see. It looks like Gandhi is pretty high up there and Teddy. But, I mean, if I'm catching up to them in science and culture, that feels good. That's a good thing. Um, one other thing I want to wa watch out is uh, for zombies, so I'll probably be building a few more units uh, after I get like one builder up, so that'll be that. We'll also get a hero gauge next time. That's awesome. But yeah, I gotta get going. Thank y'all for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.